everyone, this is my 2020 sketchbook tour. This is a sketchbook that I kept while I was still working in animation. So you're going to see a whole lot of improvement in this sketchbook. So let's get started. Okay. I used to use sketchbooks as kind of an idea journal. These were all ideas that were potential t-shirt ideas or print ideas and I never treated them like finished sketchbook pages. I was reading a book on occultism, so a lot of that stuff appeared in my sketches. Since I really wanted to get better at finishing sketchbook drawings, I started trying to render a little bit more in my sketchbook. But you can see here I am still really struggling with being impatient and not really wanting to finish the drawing. I was also inspired a lot by Freemasonry. I wanted to create a line of t-shirts that was inspired by swords and royalty, but mixed with the occult. So this page is when I got this multicolored pencil that I wanted to try to see if this was worth using as some decent art tool. After a few more experimentations, I realized I don't really like this pencil all that much because it's pretty difficult to make a decent drawing out of. This is my very first attempt at finishing with a pencil. When I look back on this drawing, I think it was a good first effort, but I was really, really impatient. I typically draw really frenetically, really fast and loose, especially for storyboarding, and that kind of comes across in this drawing. So with this drawing, I get a whole lot better immediately. It was with these two drawings that I realized I needed to use pencil more. I needed to really figure out how to use it properly, get rid of my light-handedness, and just get more patient with it. To be honest with you, before this, I hated drawing with a pencil. I like drawing with a pen or I like to paint because it is more immediate. But pencil just takes so long and I'm so impatient. Vincent actually gave me some tips on this drawing. He explained to me how he approaches pencil work by drawing this head. This was a breakthrough drawing for me. I really just took my time. This drawing took as long as it needed to. And I'm really happy with how this came out. So happy that I made the cat demon bomber jacket from this illustration. I start spending a whole lot more time on each of these individual drawings, experimenting with all the different things that I like to do. I knew her hair and her face were going to be really heavy lined, so I kept her clothes really airy and light and you can barely see it. I also played around with some colored pencil to really emphasize the flowers in the background. Vincent actually wrote the lyrics of a song back here. Again, still very inspired by the occult and witchcraft, really playing with texture. Texture in the hands, light versus dark, and proportion of light versus dark, and stuff like that. For a while, I really got into Billie Eilish like everyone on the internet. I was inspired by her song Bellyache for this illustration. Occasionally, I do some studies of graphics. For a while, I was trying to design this little goat character, but this never went anywhere because I just didn't really like the design. I was trying to do a different print of Billie Eilish. I draw her a lot in the sketchbook. And this is a phase in the sketchbook where I start using a ballpoint pen, but then I realize I'm falling back into the trap of being too loose, too impatient. Some more Billie Eilish. This is my studies page. Studies of Billie Eilish and some people on Pinterest, I think. Some more ideas for t-shirts that never went anywhere. I fluctuate between being really impatient and never really finishing my sketchbook drawings, which I try not to do these days. This was just an idea for an illustration that, again, never really went anywhere. Same thing, just jotting down ideas. Lots more Billie Eilish. These are more ideas for t-shirts. When I'm trying to think of t-shirt ideas, I actually jot down different phrases on the side of my sketchbook. A lot of them are really cringe and I would never use them. They're just stream of consciousness ideas. During this phase of my sketchbook, I was trying to design out the shape and look 
of the proportions of my faces. I was trying to test out different face shapes, different eye sizes to really make my characters my own. For a while, I actually used to draw faces a little bit more rounded, like, like this. But I was really experimenting with a different shape language here. I don't know if anyone else could tell, but I was really trying to fine tune certain aspects of the way I personally draw in these sketchbooks. Just a little bit of a study, and I was trying to design a little rabbit character. More potential t-shirt designs. Whenever I mess up a drawing, sometimes I like to put a post-it note on top because it's thin enough where you can kind of see through it to the drawing underneath, and I will correct the drawing as best as I can. I don't typically like full-bodied characters in a t-shirt design because it just doesn't read so well compared to a portrait or symbols and stuff like that. I was really inspired by ghosts here, and I was thinking a really neat t-shirt design would be a ghost-like character screeching or screaming with bang, bang, bang in the background as type typography. Some more t-shirt designs that I really didn't spend too much time with. Just a portrait with some typography around the portrait, whereas I imagined a whole maybe paragraph or phrase overlaid on top of the drawing of a person. So it's a little bit busy, doesn't really work, so I just moved on. By this point, I really nailed down the kind of facial anatomy that I specifically wanted to use. I had finally gotten used to these proportions and I was really happy with this drawing. The story behind this drawing was in the same occult book that I was reading at the time. There was a story about bad omens and black chickens, so I basically illustrated that story. Birds flying to the left in movies and literature and imagery is typically a bad omen as well as a black chicken. So I imagine something like a ghost floating through the world holding her pet chicken. <laughs> This piece was inspired by a chapter in the occult book that was talking about numerology and I wanted to do something a little bit flat and a little bit graphic. Proportionally didn't necessarily make sense. Think Audrey Beardsley. I basically just wanted to play around with curves and a more graphic approach to drawing a figure. She's inspired by Neptune and the number nine in numerology so there are nine flowers, there are infinity symbols on her dress, and a cube has nine sides. I really loved this drawing when I had finally finished it. It basically was a culmination of all the torture that I put myself through with using pencil. I am really proud of this one. This is also inspired by a story in the occult book. If I remember the story correctly, it was about how burying a cracked pot in the ground is a ritual in a way kind of like magic to get what you want. The spiral represents the brain and the human mind. and. And I thought it'd be neat to have nails poking out of the pot. To represent earth, I added sand coming towards the viewer and fungus and frogs. I never liked using these because I never really figured out how to. Again, because I like challenging myself with things that I don't like, I decided, well, I'm going to figure out this tool. So I did a whole bunch of studies using a blending stump. These were portraits that I found on Pinterest, I believe. You can see how much I struggled with this tool in these pages because I am not proud of some of these drawings. Here is when I finally figured it out a little bit. I really like the softness of this drawing and how I juxtaposed it with just the texture and simple line work of her hair. And I tried to do the opposite here where I rendered out the hair but kept the face and the body loose and just simple line and soft. More studies and I'm just figuring out how much to use this tool and how much I need to draw on top of it, especially when drawing a full body. Some more studies while trying to add my own little twist and proportions to the image. I don't typically like to draw exactly what the image looks like. I like to design it out a little bit. Here, I'm starting to really fall in love with 
the dreaminess that this tool kind of makes. I think this drawing is really neat. It's not typically how I prefer to draw. It reminds me a little bit of pop surrealism and Mark Ryden and that school of illustration, but I think it's really neat. Super, super light and simple drawing that I was trying to do just to see how little I really needed to do to use this properly. A little bit of a mixed media piece. I think this was drawn right after I left Disney and I was basically just trying to get the hang of drawing again for myself. I think this one was in a YouTube video where I am using this tool again. I basically was just trying to do a study of a portrait and then I got really distracted and I did all of this craziness. I think this was an idea for a t-shirt that never went anywhere. I thought the texture of a hummingbird would be kind of neat to try out the pencil with. The problem is when you try to finish something, it can get a little bit muddy and it just turns kind of gray like that. Which is why I fixed the face because that is what happened. I was drawing a whole lot of commissions and I really wanted to just draw original art again so this sketch came out. Instead of trying to use pencil, I started using these coal erase pencils because these were the pencils that I was using for commissions and I just wanted something with color. These sketches were all done in the latter half of 2020 and I was super inspired by snakes, plants, beautiful, overly indulgent girls. Instead of restricting myself to the same proportions that I had designed basically back in 2019, I started drawing a little bit more softly and more realistically. And that is it for my sketchbook flip through. That was a 2020 sketchbook tour. I have already started a new sketchbook. I'm excited to show you this when it is done. If you like more videos like this, check out these videos. Head over to honeyandapson.com for prints and merch, and I will see you Friday.